Hi, Matt here from Seek Thermal. Today I'd like to walk you through the basic features and functions to get you up and running as quickly as possible with our new Shot Series thermal imaging cameras. The Seek Shot Series comes in two configurations, a 320 by 240 as well as a 206 by 156 thermal resolution. On the top of the camera is the power button and the capture button for capturing images and videos. It features an internal rechargeable lithium ion battery it's rechargeable through a USB port on the bottom, which you can also use to pull your images off for report generation later back at the office. It features a large 3.5 inch touchscreen display on the back surface to quickly analyze all your thermal markers and quickly diagnose exactly what the problem is. On the front surface, we have a thermal imaging camera paired with a visible camera to allow for a fusion image so you can see exact detail of what you're looking at. First, let's power on the SeekShot device. To power on the unit, press the power button on top for approximately two seconds or so, and you'll be presented with the Seek Thermal splash screen. Once the unit powers up, you'll be ready to go in active imaging. Now on the active imaging screen, you'll see that there's a quick menu access bar at the top and a tool menu bar at the bottom and your range bar along the right side. To view the screen, full image without the menu bars, just tap anywhere in the active area and the menu bars disappear for better viewing. To get the bars back, just tap again and you have access to the menus. Next you'll notice the menu along the bottom. These four icons represent on the left your gallery. This is where you can review or edit any images you have created and saved on the device. The next icon is your tools icon. This opens up multiple tools you use in analysis of your thermal images either live or in post. The next icon is your view mode. This allows you to switch between a fully thermal image, a fully visible image, or what we call fusion, which is a blend of the two images, which you have further control as well. The next icon is your palette. This allows you to select different color schemes to adjust to taste of how you want to view your thermal images. Okay, so if I minimize the menus, on the right side you'll see the range bar. This is an auto-ranging scale of the min and max temperatures in your scene. In a further video, we'll talk about how to adjust the range bar, lock values, and set custom limits. Now to power off the device, simply again press the power button, hold for approximately two seconds until you see a dialog box, say OK to power off, and the unit will shut down in about two seconds.